Aloha and welcome back to my channel. And before we get into the next video, I want to just say thank you for returning. And also to those who are new, I want to invite you to go to this video that will tell you more about me and what the channel is about. So here's the next video. Aloha and today I am in my kitchen and I am dealing with something smelly under the kitchen sink. And so I figured, why not take you on this adventure with me to see what is causing it and how I can fix it. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Candace, or I go by Sister Candace because I believe that we're all brothers and sisters in this big world of ours that God has created for us to help each other. So uh, I hope that uh, whatever I learned today that you or someone you know will be able to learn from it as well. So uh, I am going to set the camera here while I figure out what's going on with my kitchen sink here. So I have no idea how long this is going to take. So I'll probably be, be um, fast forwarding some of this or cutting part of it out. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put on some gloves because there's got to be something nasty down there. My one friend said it might be mold or mildew because I did have a leak down there last year and I thought I got it all cleaned up. But um, there was a slight odor last summer, and, but it wasn't as strong. So, and I don't remember if it was before or after I had that little spill of water down there. So anyway, um, the thing that caused the, the water was that, um, I'll show you. You know what? I probably should wear a mask because if it is mildew or mold, I don't want to be inhaling that junk. So I'm going to go get a mask. So, here we go into the adventures of Under the Sink. Um, let's see, what else do I need? Oh, my mask is not quite staying. There we go. Okay, so let's put everything up here. I need to sort through some of this stuff anyway to figure out what I need to keep under the sink and what I don't because it's been a while since I organized down here. I don't tend to go under the sink much. I don't see any mildew on the top part. I think it's all on the bottom part if there is any. Okay, so I'm going to leave all this stuff on the second level here because I See, what happened um, last time <clears throat> is that uh, this, this thing here was loose. I don't know how it got loose, but it got loose. And so I tightened it, and it's, it's, it hasn't untightened since then. I don't know how that happened. Um, you can see there's some rust here. So that was definitely where the, the leak was. Um, so let's... Yeah, let's put all this stuff back here that was on the second level. I don't know where this belongs. This is silly. Add a vent. This is supposed to vent something. Okay. Not sure. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's down here. Okay, going into the sink here. Now you can see that there really isn't anything nasty looking. I don't see any mold or mildew. It pretty much looks like how it looked last year. When uh, I had all that water, it was like right here. There's a little bit of staining. Um, here. Um, but yeah, I don't see any mildew. No. I'm going to take off my mask and see if I can tell where the smell is coming from.
Hmm. Oh, there I see some wetness. Hmm. Is that wetness or is that... Hmm, hold on a second here. Let me see. No, that's glue. That's not wet. That is not wet. Okay, so it might... This looks kind of nasty here. So I'm wondering if this thing... If I need to unscrew that and get rid of stuff that's in there. Because maybe there's stuff stuck in there that is just not going through. And it's just like nasty smelling. Um, I really don't want to do that because it's probably going to be really messy. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to, first of all, get this off and back on. And we'll need some kind of wrench, which I believe I have in my stash of stuff from my late husband. <sighs> okay. It's either that or look under the boards here, but if I'm going to look under these boards, that's not going to be easy because they're tacked down. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to be easy to go under there. So I got to believe it's it's coming from this because this, this is like the nastiest thing that I can see here. Everything else looks pretty normal. I don't see anything. Oops, sorry. So there's nothing back here that looks out of the orient. That's the hose that goes to the dishwasher. So, and that's the hose that goes up to the water filter. I just watched a video on YouTube, uh, which I will put in the link below of this video, um, where the guy demonstrated in just six minutes how to, um, Oh, I just noticed my hair's weird. <laughs> um, how to uh, disconnect the P trap and clean it out. Well, he didn't actually show cleaning it. He just showed that how to remove it so that you can clean it out. I'm hoping I can just flush it out with my garden hose with the sprayer on high, and then reinstall it. Um, so it he did warn that it's going to be stinky and there's going to be water that's going to come out so we need to have something to catch the water with so i have this old um uh plastic thing that i had from my spinach so i i usually save the uh, plastic containers like this because i know that they come in handy for things that you never know so i'm gonna stick that under here and uh, with this board here it makes it really tricky because it's in the way of i need to uh, unscrew this and I need to unscrew another thing that you can't see but it's like right over here. I don't have any uh, what do you call it wrenches to open it with but the guy on the video said he was able to do it with his hands but we'll see. So here we go. Uh. <laughs> it's in an awkward position. Oh, really? Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> the whole pipe is moving, but this thing is not moving. <sighs> Great. This one I think is easy. This one looks new. I don't know why the black one looks like so old and yucky. So I can take this off. Yeah, that comes off with no problem. Well, maybe I'll try taking this part off. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, then I better put... I gotta get another, I gotta get another thing here to catch water. Oh man, and then guess what? It's gonna go here and this is all gonna get yucky. Great. Okay, I'm just gonna move this stuff. Okay, this is getting more complicated. Okay, so I got this lid of a container because the actual container was too high to fit under here. And then I've got the container here and I've got another one here to catch any water that might fall. So, here we go. So maybe this is why this thing was loose before because the people had to open it before. Now I'm thinking, how should I? I guess I'll do a section at a time. Hmm, can you see that? So there's some stuff in there. 
but not too bad actually. I'm gonna stick that in here. Okay, now let's do this one. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can't quite get it off. Ooh, there's something there. Can you see that? There's something sitting in there. Maybe that's our issue. Okay, I just need to twist it a little bit more. It should be coming off fairly soon. I don't want to lose the washer, so I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to just stick everything in that container so I can clean it out. Okay. Well, it's nasty, but it's not a lot to block it. I mean, I didn't have problems with the water draining. It's just it smells whenever the air conditioning is blowing underneath here. So I don't know. Um, so this last part, which is the actual P-trap itself, is the problem child. It does not want to open. Oh, oh. And I can tell there's something in there. I can totally tell there's something in there. Okay, so I am gonna have to call my neighbor and see if they have something that will open that for me. I'm sure my neighbor next door will because uh, they're a married couple, so. And uh, I will be back. Okay, so I'm borrowing some um, wrench from my neighbor. Hopefully it's big enough. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it's in a really weird position. Uh, I wish it was like up here, but no, it's down here, which makes it really hard to get to. I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I need to put my gloves on just in case something comes squirting out at me. Uh, okay, I cannot hold this at the same time, so I'm going to have to put this down I guess uh, okay let's try doing this oh man I think it's just a little bit too small that's as big as it gets oh, you gotta be kidding me oh let me try a different angle here yeah it's dang Well, it's just like a quarter inch too small. Dang. Okay, gonna have to call my other neighbor to see if they have something bigger. Actually, I should, I don't know, can I measure that? I don't know. Anyway, the saga continues. So, it's the end of this video, but there is another one in the works. And when you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified automatically when a new video is ready. So now it's your turn to share with me what you liked about this video, any tips that you have for me to help me improve what I'm sharing. And if you want to spread the Aloha spirit you can share this video with a friend, someone that you care about. And if you want to see what else I'm up to, then go to my page on buymeacoffee.com. So there's a link in the description below this video that will take you to buymeacoffee.com slash aloha. So mahalo my brothers and sisters for watching this video and i wish you the best today may the aloha spirit be with you